welcome back to my channel where we talk about everything entrepreneurship, freelancing, independent contractor, and of course, virtual assistants. If you guys are new here, my name is Lovely Brooks and I am the founder of Lovely Occasions and Etc., a virtual assistant agency. Well, we specialize in operations and team. So if you feel like you can get value from anything that I've mentioned, do not forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're not missing any gems that we're dropping when a new video comes out. So today, you guys, I wanted to talk about something very simple. This goes back to my newbies who's on their journey to being a virtual assistant. And that is, how do you know when you're booked out? What I find is that many people aren't even sure what being booked out means to them. And what does that look like? You know, we know we have the buzzwords being booked out. We know that means we can't take any more clients because we have all the clients we need. But what does that mean for you? Your booked out is going to be completely different than my booked out. And I find it interesting that uh, many people will struggle, even virtual assistants, after several years. And they're not exactly sure what booked out means for them. They're not exactly sure how to be booked out. First of all, you have to know what being booked out means for you. Your booked out, my booked out will definitely look different. I am going to use me for examples because I think that's just easier and people need examples. So for me, I've always decided to put five hours aside to work on my particular business, my business, lovely occasions and etc. Now that could be time that I'm spending to reach out to different leads and, and have conversations with them. That could be time that I'm making content creation. That can be time that you know, um, I'm working with my team. It's just five hours aside, no matter how busy I get, no matter how many clients I have that I'm putting aside just for my particular business so I can continue to grow. That would also include days that I'm investing in myself. You know, if I bought a course, if I decided to get a mentor in a certain spot, then those five hours is also put aside for that as well. So what does that mean? Okay, lovely. You have five hours for yourself. Well, I decided that I didn't really want to work more than 25 hours a week. So take the five hours aside for my business. That leaves me with 20 hours I have left that I work directly with and on my client's that's my 25 hours a week. So how does that really look? Well, I can have a client who maybe just decides that they want me to work on client work for 40 hours a month. Then that would go down to 10 hours a week. So I could actually have two clients that wanted to contract me for 40 hours a month and I would be booked out. Now you're saying with two clients, I wouldn't be able to afford it. Well, this is where you now look at how many, how much money you need to make and would like to make. You're going to take the hours that you want to work and divide that and see what your hourly rate is or what you need to charge. Now that's a very streamlined method of just making sure that what you're charging will add up to the amount of clients that you want to take in your you know, time blocking way. So you are not overbooking yourself. You're not undercharging yourself. Everything's aligned so you can do that. And of course, you always want to step back after that and say, hey, if what I'm saying is I need to charge somebody $80 an hour, are the services that I'm providing and I'm presenting $80 an hour, you know, quality hours to give? So make sure that all these things lined up and this will help you to know when you're booked out. And that's also going to help you to become booked.